There's no correct answer for which accent is acceptable and which one isn't. However, some accents are better than others, which is a shame because you can't really control your accent. However, regardless of what your accent's like and what your speaking voice is like, you can always tell the intelligence behind somebody's accent, depending on the language they use, the vocabulary they use, the vernacular they use, the way they pause, the way that they take their time when putting thoughts together, the way they intonate their words. So I know very smart people who are Chinese, Nigerian, Indian, who do speak with their heavy accent. However, you know that there's a brain behind that accent. So if you're lucky enough to be born with a British or maybe an American accent, and you're not using your voice to your full potential, it's one of those instances where you'll always get outpaced by somebody who's more obsessed than if you're born with natural talent. So if you're born with a BBC British accent, which I don't quite have, but I guess that would be the top rank of accents in the world, in my opinion. You know, if there's an Indian guy who can sell more than you and do more business than you and close more deals than you, despite the fact that his accent is a disadvantage, that's just because he works harder than you. So make sure that you do work on your vocabulary. Download stupid apps, word of the day. Read 20 new words a day and, and, and read what they mean, learn their, learn their definitions, try to include them into your everyday vocabulary. Yeah, you're really doing yourself a huge disservice if you don't try to maximize your speaking voice. The best way to cultivate your voice besides expanding your vocabulary to me would be reading out loud. Take a book that you like or a book that isn't something very simple, no children's books, obviously, and read them out loud. It's an exercise that everyone used to have us doing in school. We probably don't understand why our teachers used to make us do this. However, the way that stories are written and the way that people speak in books and the way that sentences are put together, you can tell how it's supposed to be read. You can tell you're not supposed to just zoom through all the words like you do in your head when you're mentally reading it. So literally read it out loud. You can imagine how these characters are speaking to each other. You can imagine how they're trying to convey themselves, whether it be a sad moment of the book, uh, an action packed part of the book, uh, you know, uh, somber, happy, it doesn't matter. You know what the characters are feeling at the time. So read out loud. And then when you find yourself speaking with your friends, you find yourself talking really fast, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're umming and ahhing and you can't get your words together like this, then slow the fuck down. Slow down, think of what you want to say before you say it and try to convey it in a very articulate, compendious way.